AI-powered cloud data management provider Informatica out with earnings results after the closing bell on Wednesday, reporting third quarter revenue that came in above Wall Street expectations. The shares are moving higher. And joining us now is Amit Walia, the CEO of Informatica. Good to see you. So we've been talking all morning long about all of the big CapEx plans by the hyperscalers. You guys are getting a piece of some of all of this excitement around AI, the cloud, the continued excitement over the cloud, et cetera. Um, what are you hearing from clients here about you know, where they are deploying their resources? Julie, thanks for hosting me. Pleasure to be on. Well, look, <clears throat> the best way to describe that is that, look, the CapEx part is like building the freeways. They are, have to be built for the cars and the drivers to get on the road. Where we come into play is without data, there's no AI. And that's where we are, as we talk to customers sitting in the middle across the globe, <clears throat> sitting in between all the hyperscalers, the work is happening. Everybody is putting the work in right now. Pilots are happening, experimentations are happening. In fact, some of the pilots have been taken to what I call small scale productions. And as I look into next year, I do see that phased productionization or operationalization of AI going to happen. So it's not a matter of if at all, it's a matter of when, but a lot of work has to happen and that's what we're helping our customers with. And so what, how would you characterize sort of what percentage or how much of your uh, revenue at this point is tied to that build out that we're seeing or sort of the gen AI in any form demand for that that we're seeing? Sure, we don't give that breakout, but if you look at our cloud business, it grew 36%, you know, of about $748 million of cloud ARR. That's, on, you know, basically exceeding the top and the guidance. In fact, we beat and raised in the first half and we again beat that in Q3. And of course, all conversations within that are happening around what do I do with AI and how do I use that? Beauty of our platform is that you can use it for non-Gen AI and Gen AI use cases. So it's happening. I was talking to the CDO of a large pharmaceutical company and they're using our platform, our clear uh, capabilities of AI to do clinical trials, accelerate that. Or a large retailer to create what I call offers just in time. So we are seeing that happening. All conversations are centered around that. Our pipeline reflects that. And that's what is happening uh, as we think about the business going forward. You know, I mean, as there's so much kind of early demand and, and customers trying to figure out how much, what they should be spending on with regard to, mm -hmm. to AI as they, as they scale their own type of footprint and, and their use cases for this technology. Yeah. I wonder as you're thinking through the annual recurring revenue uh, rate that you've been able to see increase by about 6.7% year over year, how much of that over time you're saying you can continue to kind of have this portfolio client base as perhaps a baseline versus where you might see some fall off, some churn later on once companies start to get a better sense of where they might need to cut spending that they've once initiated in the AI landscape? I think slightly different for us, uh, Brad. I think the way we look at it is that, uh, first of all, cloud is where all the AI is for us. So that's the one that grew 36%. And in that, in fact, it will only grow because right now, you know, when you look at our platform and, you know, the we actually exceed a, a big milestone, we had 101 trillion transactions a month on our platform. That's the usage of our products. So we see customers, we can track them doing AI related work, Gen AI related work over there. Because like I said, it's in its small, early infancy now, that will only grow. And in our case, whether they go from model A to model B, hyperscaler A to hyperscaler B, doesn't matter. We are the Switzerland in the middle. We can help them with that. So we are only going to see the growth over there as the use cases scale and become bigger and bigger. As you look at the market and, and how they're valuing your company, I mean, you're carrying a PE ratio of about 125 right now. And so as, as we're sitting here thinking about what that means for Informatica to grow into that, what does the scaling look like for your company and how do you envision kind of meeting some of the market's lofty expectations for your own growth? Well, look, one of the things I've always focused on is execute. Execute on innovation and execute towards what your customers want. And you can see in that context, the first half, both for the top line and the bottom line, we exceeded, we raised, and then in Q3, we again beat all of them. And that's the best way we can execute. Just go execute, meet your customer demand and keep innovating. And that's that's my best, that's the strategy that has paid off very well for us. And I'm going to stay maniacally focused on that one. All right. Amit Walia, who is the CEO of Informatica. Thank you so much for taking the time here with us, Amit. Appreciate it. Thank you very much, Austin. Appreciate it.